Hi, in this video I will show you how you can use split in batches node in NA10. So, uh, since I want to cover it on a specific example, we will use Notion for that. So, first we will transfer data from NA10 workflow to Notion database. Then we will check every record um, if already exists in a Notion database. And if it doesn't exist in a database, we want to add it to Notion. So yeah, sounds a little bit difficult, but it's quite easy. I will use Notion in this tutorial, so if you haven't authenticated your Notion yet, I will leave you a link in the description to NA10 Docs, where you can find uh, instructions how to do this step by step. And here is our workflow. As you can see, we use right now two nodes in a workflow. The first one is a function node with example data, and the second node is a Notion node, which creates um, the records in a Notion database. So here we have example data, which are countries and cities. A list of countries and list of cities, which we, will, which we want to transfer to this Notion database. So yeah, now let's get back into our workflow and see how we can transfer this data actually uh, to Notion. We will use Notion node and as you can see, I've already configured my authentication. As a resource, we will use database page and operation create. Then we need to choose a database in which we want to operate and take the mine column. In our case, it's gonna be country column and we take um, of course, um, country parameter from the previous from the previous node. Then also we choose a city um, and we take the parameter of a city also from the previous node, which is node with example data. Now let's close both windows and check if the workflow works properly. So let's execute the workflow. And as you can see, already five items have passed from function node to create records node. And when we can have a look on our Notion database, you can see that list of countries and cities exists here. So yeah, the data has passed correctly. Now let's modify this workflow and check if data from function node with example records uh, actually exists in a database. So we will use for that uh, Notion node once again, but with a little bit different configuration. As you can see, I also have my credentials here filled, but we will use operation search. And let's type here Poland. Poland is on a list. So let's execute the node. And as you can see, in output, we should receive something, but we receive Poland five times. The reason for that is the fact that in a previous node, which is the function node with example data, uh, we've got five items which have been passed to the next node. But Notion node doesn't actually know that it needs to look for it only one time and not five times. Let's check right now how the Notion node behaves when we type name of a country that there is not on the list. I've typed Portugal. So as you can see, Portugal is not in database in Notion. And let's see what happens. When we execute the node, we should receive an information that no data has been found. And we receive this information both in table and JSON tab. But we also need to know to other nodes in workflow that there is nothing in here. So what we need to do is to check always output the data. And we execute the node right now. You can see that in JSON tab, we receive an empty item, which we can use in the next nodes in a workflow. Okay, let's close this window and actually use split in batches node for NA10. I will make some space here and between function node and notion node, I will add split in batches node from NA10. We will make a batch size of one, so it returns only one item at the time. When we execute it, you can see that only one item has been returned. In this case, it's Poland with city Warsaw. Let's also have a look on the previous node to check if everything is correct. And yes, Poland is the very first record on the list, so it has been returned correctly. Now we need to modify a bit our Notion workflow to add the real parameters from the workflow. So in a place where is Portugal right now, we need to add an expression 
and with a parameter from a previous node which is split into batches node and it should return Poland. So when we execute the search node right now with Notion, you can see that Poland is returned only one time and this is something that we wanted to achieve. Next, we need to add a simple conditional. So if a country is on a list, then we make a loop once again. But if country is not on a list, we need to add it. For that, we will use if node from N8N. So when we click it, we need to add a condition. As a condition, we take, of course, string, and as a value, we type name of the column from the previous node. So we take the column with the countries, which is the name column. Next, we need to choose the operation that if node has to do. So we take list of operations and click is empty. In this case, when nothing in previous node has been found, the if node will return true. But if something has been found, it will return false. Simple as that. The key thing right now is that when the country is not on a list, we want to add it. So we take the node that we used before, it's a notion create node, and we connect it with a true branch from the if node. Just like this. The very important thing right now is to change the parameters in notion create node. So first we reset the title and we add an expression. The very important is to use the data from split in batches node. So of course, as a title, I use name of the country and as a city, I use a city name from a split in batches node from the previous steps of the workflow. So when the thing is done, we want to close both windows and connect notion create node with split in batches. In this case, we create a loop. The same thing we do with false branch from if node. We connect it with split in batches node. So we created a loop in which each item from split in batches is checked if it is in a database or is not. Right now our workflow is ready for tests. So we can go to our database in Notion and for example delete two of the countries. I will delete Spain and France. So when we execute the workflow, those two countries should return to the uh, database in Notion. So let's execute it. After you execute the workflow, you can see how many items go in which way. So as you can see, there, there are two items right now that has been created and those are the countries that we deleted before. So Spain and France, they are right now in a database again. So we can repeat this process, we will delete Poland, execute workflow once again, and as you can see, one item has been added, so Poland is once again on a list. We can check the workflow also in other way. So for example, we can add another record to example data in our function node. So as you can see, I've got here JSON file, and I will copy block of code and paste it below and add another country with another city uh, to the example data. In my case, it's gonna be Ukraine with city Kiev. So we will type it into the code and execute workflow once again to see if we see the result in Notion database. So yeah, right now we can close both windows and execute the workflow once again. And when we execute it, you can see that from true branch from if node, only one item goes through the loop. So yeah, think is done and Ukraine is on a list in Notion database. So the workflow works properly. And that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. And if you like the video, give it thumbs up, um, leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel because I plan to make also other videos for NA10. And yeah, see you soon. Cheers.